Her sisters don't love her. No. I'm, I'm confident that her sisters do not love her and want her to fail. She needs an intervention in terms of style. She does. Hey everyone, it's Mirror Mangle. And it's Scarlet Sinai. And welcome to another Mangled Morning. Woo! You're a little superhero lady. I am, do you know which one? I never you know, but yeah. I love the green jewel. I think it's real cute. <laughs> you loved it. You were like, I love the jewelry. I am doing Starfire. Starfire. Famous oh. DC character from the Teen Titans. Oh, I love it. And, and so the hair that like makes that yeah, fits the fire. fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That she's an me. alien woman. Yes. Oh, an alien woman. She's oh, very, so in fun. the comics back in the day, she's not really anymore, but she's very sexual. She barely wears anything in the comics. <laughs> and this is the look that is literally like the, like the one I'm wearing right now. This is the most covered she normally is. Oh. She normally always has her tummy out and her breasts out and everything. Which, that. you know, I'm okay with the breasts, but, Ooh. you know, there's some secrets in the midsection. It sounds like Kylie needs to dress up as Starfire. <gasps> Kylie would make an amazing like, Starfire. A perfect Starfire. You're so right. But we're not here to talk about uh, Kylie or Starfire today. <laughs> we're here to talk about so many things, all of our shows this week. We've got UK, Canada, and Dragula, plus the promos of Queens of the Universe. Yes. <laughs> My mouth is like trying to make shapes that aren't, aren't related. <laughs> Before we get started with all that, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and join the Patreon where you can see all kinds of additional content you can't see on YouTube, plus you're helping support the channel. Now you can also support the channel by tipping on Venmo like these fine folks did. Big shout out to Donna H and Catherine J who both were checking in on Jack. You know, um, I mentioned to the Patreon people and I think I made a post on Instagram too. Jack got a little sick uh, last week, but he's fully recovered. It was just his birthday. So thank you guys so much for that and just for checking in on him, period. Also to Eric D who tipped on Catherine app and he said uh here's some money for a good meal Jesus. oh we, we need a good sweet. meal and then uh, our buddy nick g always coming through for us and he said that we help him get through his week thank you nick also take a look at scott and his mirror mangled tank top yes. taking me to the gym rocking oh. it out she does look like a, a very empowered person to go to the gym yeah i'm so me. happy that people are still taking to the gym right That'd i really be. need to take my own self there <laughs> so that you today, can Starfire. Right, right. <laughs> so I can wear those little skippy things. You're wearing yourself today. I know. Gotta love yourself. Okay. Hey, right. But you can get all of these shirts at mirrormangle.redbubble.com. All right. Send us your photos and you'll be featured in a video. So Queens of the Universe. Now, we, we were expecting this. We've been waiting for this. Mm -hmm. The gag for me, though, is the fact that Jujupi is a part of it. I know. We were not expecting that. But I have not heard any rumors about that. My heart is so happy. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited for her. I hope that, uh, you know, it's not just something else for her to lose, but hopefully she'll she's at least gotta, make it to the finale. She's got to, I believe, I believe. We're thinking that no Rue girls were going to be on it, mm -hmm. but then it's almost odder, odder, <laughs> odder. Mm, it's fine. Yeah. stranger that only one Rue girl is on it when there's so many all, all over the world and they, they yeah. filmed it in the UK. Right. So we're like, where's Davina? Where's so-and-so? All of that. Yeah, um, there was ton, so many singers that could yeah, be on Jan it. Jan and... Yeah. I mean, yeah, literally every franchise has at least one singer, right. you know. And, like, cool unexpected ones, like Jimbo could be on it, Setter Jean could be on it, like, unexpected yeah, yeah. people. Juju <laughs> gets headlines, right? right? Entertainment Weekly read her the house down, though, and Juju's <laughs> response is hilarious. So, Entertainment Weekly was like, Juju joins another, another. contest. <laughs> Oh. So if the rumors are true, she has another one coming right after this exactly. or during this. Yep. So she will be a contestant on some form of Drag Race five times, which she already was like tied with three at the most. Yeah. She saw all those girls going back for the third time and she's like, oh, I got you. She's like, I I'm going to make sure that no one catches up today. Watch mother do it. Right. <laughs> so I so love. The other crazy thing is... The rumor, which I still haven't been able to confirm for sure, mm -hmm. the rumor is that the prize for this is $250,000. Ooh, yes ma'am. So finally it's like an upped prize. I mean, that's big money if that's true. Man, I need to take some singing lessons. Right. <laughs> like, girl. I mean, it would be great, like if, if Juju hadn't won all those times and then she gets a bigger pot than <gasps> anyone, she, oh, that would be kind of fierce. Oh, that would be. But she's got some strong ultimate. competition that we're gonna look at okay. here. Look at them two at a time. Okay. This very first queen, Out of Vox, is the only one that I know of that has competed on American Idol and made top 10. Wow. So, Out okay. has a very good shot. And then you have Aria B. Cassadine. Gosh, I'm... I'll just say right now, that's my favorite look. Yeah. Out of all uh, 14 of them, yeah. Aria's is my favorite one. I love both of these, too. They're both mangle like, yeses oh, for me. Oh, total. I think they're, they're both great, and I think. Gorgeous. And they're both from the US. Odd is from Texas. Oh. And then Aria is from Atlanta. Very cool. And I know that um, Chastity knew a couple of the girls, and Aria was one of them. Oh, fancy. Her look is incredible. It's the one, like, it's the best one. It is the just, best one. 
I mean, I haven't seen the others yet. (laughs) Moving on, we have Betty Bischlap from Denmark. (laughs) And then we have Cheyenne Valentino from... Chicago. Oh, any relation to any of our Valentinos? She, well, she knows Chastity, or Chastity knows her, but I'm not sure if they're like direct. I'm sure they're related in some way. Through. It's not that far. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Betty's look is incredible. Yeah, Betty's so look stunning. is fierce. I love that silhouette, the mm-hmm. shapes. I'm not crazy about Cheyenne's only because the skirt is kind of odd, and then also it's got that mermaid print for the dress. Which I'm not crazy about. But she looks stunning. Yeah, she looks stunning. They're both stunning. Yeah. I might have to give Cheyenne a mangled mess. I'm just not crazy about some of the choices with the look. Yeah. I like it as a bust shot up. Like face and the tool around her and the blue hair stunning. Mm -hmm. But the whole bottom half is a mess for me. That's how I feel too. I'm not crazy about the length. Little booty too. Yeah, the little booty. I think, oh, just something more like fabulous and tail looking or something would have been pretty. Yeah. I can guarantee that if you go to her Instagram, she's going to have so many looks that are better than that one oh, too. Oh, yeah. You know, like she seems like she's a pageant gal that's got it together. Right. She, you know she can turn it harder than that, than Absolutely. the bottom half of that. Moving on, Jinzilla from Sydney. Right. And then we've got Greg Queen from Brazil. <laughs> I like both looks. I really like uh, Jinzilla's. I'm not crazy about the boot. Uh, Armor's fierce. Um... Yeah, I don't know. This look is okay to me. I like bits and pieces of it. The boot doesn't go with it at all. I'm not crazy about the boot, and I'm not crazy about the cut of the bodysuit. Yeah. I I might mingle mess this as well. I'm going to mangle yes it, but the boot almost makes it a mess for me. <laughs> and then for Greg Queen, I think it's pretty I fierce. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Her boot matches? She, <laughs> yeah. I think she looks fierce. I know, like, you're Those typically legs. the one to talk about the thighs, yeah. but I, I pointed it out right now. I'm Oof. like, ooh, right? Yeah. There you go. Stunning. Up next, you know her. I don't have to tell you where she's from or who she is. <laughs> Juju B. And then we have LaVoice, LaVox. Oh. I think it's LaVoice. She's from London. Oh, perfect. We'll find out when, yeah, it, when I it starts was like, airing. People have already asked, will we be reacting to it? Probably not because it's all music. And if y'all watch our reactions, you know that the lip syncs or anytime music is played, we have to chop it up to avoid mm-hmm. copyright issues. So I don't think we'll be able to react to it, but we definitely will talk about yeah, we'll it. We'll talk about it. There's notable moments for right. sure. Like we will watch it on our own and yeah. then we will discuss it here. Yes. <laughs> you know, Juju's look looks expensive. I will say, like, the just is not a great shape. Mm-hmm. And she looks thicker in the midsection than she should. Hmm. The fabric is just looks so thick. I think it's interesting. She always kind of goes for like the understated elegance uh-huh. type of moment. I'd be okay with that if it fit better. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just not, I'm not seeing the same okay. like issue. I think she looks beautiful. I like this look. It's understated, but it's still like very on par. Like it still looks great compared to, you know, a lot of the other ones. Right. So, like, I don't know. I, I think it's, I like it. I'm going to make a guess it. I'm still going to mess it. And I would say that I think that out of all of them, also because she's the biggest name on this cast, mm-hmm. right? I'm going to say it's my least favorite look of the promos because oh, she just could have, she, she is the, she is the biggest name. So she could have really turned it. Okay. I know that she's understated, mm-hmm. but it, it still should just, uh, should have fit better for me. What do you think of our London gals look? I think it's really cute. I think it's cute too. I think it's cute. It's kind of campy. Whimsical. Like, whimsical. Yeah, she looks fun. She looks like a, a good time gal. The ruffle in the midsection is tilted. Mm-hmm. I kind of live for her. Like, I like it too. And it, I feel like it almost shouldn't work considering all the other ones are like flat. Like, you know, they're straight across. Mm-hmm. But it, I don't know. It, it really works for me. It really works for me, too. I almost feel like if it was sticking too straight out, it'd be too it, much. Yeah, it like, would be. It would, like, make her shape look weird. But it I, would, yeah. But I like, I don't know. It's very smart. Yeah, I like it. And then she's got the one shoulder that goes the opposite way. Yeah. Very smart. Up next, these Ooh. are two fierce looks. Oh, my God. Leona Winter from France. And then we have Matante Alex from mm-hmm. Montreal, Canada. Wow. Both of these looks are incredible. Both of these looks are insane. They look like they're out of the same like comic book. Yeah. Leona's is like probably that. my second favorite. Ugh. It's so good. It's gorgeous. Colors that, like it's again, one of those things where it's like colors that maybe all shouldn't work together, but just done so well. Mm, yeah. Oh, stunning. I love both of these so much. She mangled yes. Oh. Up next, it's Nova Zar, one the few people we know from the U.S. from New York, Rainy Kohimer? Question mark from Mumbai, India. Cool. Both of these looks are stunning. So if you remember, I don't know. I think it was you and me that did that video of like people we wanted to cast for season fourteen, mm-hmm. and Novazar was one of my choices. Absolutely. That's kind of cool. Like mm-hmm. we have, we got one right. Prediction. Kind of. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I love both of these looks. They both look fierce. Love how these are paired up. They like a lot of the looks like kind of like go together. I just have them alphabetically. 
Oh, well, hey, I don't know. <laughs> it worked, I guess, it huh? It totally did. They both it. look very expensive, too. They do. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I, it looks like the theme, obviously, was look like a queen in space. Yeah. I love both of these. I, I love, love the blue hair with the blue shoe and all silver. It just mm -hmm. really works. Finally, we have Regina. I think it's Regina Voice from Mexico City. And then we have Wu Wu from China. Cool. Both of them look so good. These, you're right. These do like the the shapes yeah. are matching up, which is odd. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm They're like, the there's same something silhouette. going on. Um, Gina looks expensive. Yeah. Like it's a bodysuit, but she looks expensive. She looks gorgeous. Great shape. Love that. Of course, that. it's gorgeous. Yeah, this very burlesque. Mug is gorgeous. Yes. Everyone's beautiful, too. <laughs> Oh, oh, and I love this. I love that plastic melted, yeah, like looks... whatever, like flower look that people have been doing. Oh, and it, that's like fabric. Yeah, it yeah. looks like fabric, maybe like really manipulated, but it looks like it's a big bow on her back. Yeah, that's so cool. I the white tie is interesting, but I didn't notice that until I zoomed in. Yeah, it's like stir it's like up. A cutout. The corset and everything looks really nice. Absolutely. I think I would have done like, because she's got the purple boot and the purple hair. And there's some purple detail in there, maybe a purple glove to match. Mm, yeah, that would, would have be been cute. really fierce to tie it all together. But still, yeah. still mango yeses for both. Love it. What was your least favorite? Because, because we said our favorite was Aria. Uh -huh. So my least favorite was Juju. Did you have a least favorite? My least favorite was Genzilla's. It's still cute, but I'm just not crazy about the cut of it. I think it could just be a little bit more flattering. Before we get into <laughs> Dragula, we're gonna go into this conversation the, the way we normally would. But okay. the Boulevard Brothers did make a statement about like, mm -hmm. please don't send hate to our ghouls, all of that. Because mm -hmm. of course, Mary's been getting a lot of hate online. We are not the folks that would ever be sending messages to these these individuals or tagging them or anything like that yeah what we do is we have a conversation about the show that's in front of us we're going to talk about the drama and all of that too mm -hmm. uh that doesn't mean that they deserve to be further attacked online in most of these cases with any show that we're talking about where there's this kind of situation where someone's like the villain most of the time we see that the folks see those flaws in themselves and they're like, okay, I need to work on those need things. To work on it. Yeah. yeah. The biggest takeaway is it just is, seems to be blatant misogyny. The thing that's just like the most concerning to me is just the sheer, like the hyper focus on Sigourney. Right. I don't understand it. Not even just Mary, but like several contestants on the show. Lots of what as well. Yeah. Yeah. It just felt like they were really trying to be like, no, Sigourney is evil and this is right. why. And it's like, well, I'm not. And they, there was never any reason. No, right. Never anything like, legitimate. Yeah, and I don't know, it was hard to it was hard to watch this episode for me because it really was. Like, Sigourney was just trying so hard to just do something to accomplish something. I like felt frustrated just watching it, so like having to live it would be like a whole a whole moment. I saw uh, Victoria Scone posted, uh, which she didn't say it was about this, but it was that day, you know, mm -hmm. posted something like, I'm shocked that y'all are surprised at the misogyny and all of that. The spectrum from Victoria to, to what happened here with Sigourney, all of those are realities that happen in the real world, right? Yeah, absolutely. I would say the biggest thing that hasn't been discussed or talked about is the fact that most of the time, certain rooms you won't even be allowed in. Absolutely. Unfortunately, this is still how the drag world is like set up a lot of the times and a lot of the times the people that have like the booking power and control have kind of this mm -hmm. mindset right towards afab queens for some reason we've talked about this extensively on patreon and, mm -hmm. and tons of videos so if you want to hear us talk more about that and your journey my journey all of that yeah all of that's on patreon and we've talked about this a lot but I think that everything that's happened this year is, first of all, way overdue. And it's not going to, and not everything's going to be roses on the journey to, to introduce something brand new into these franchises. It's what? I mean, more than a decade later. I know. Yeah, it's really crazy. But it's good progress that at least it's happening. Yeah. I hate that it's happening with Sigourney, but glad it's being captured on camera and mm -hmm. people can see the full... Like you said, a range of experiences of, yeah. that entertainers run into. Yeah, love that bitch pudding was back. Yeah, that was so that fun. That was so cute. cute the little, little cameo. cameo, right? I was very nervous when the mop water showed up. You thought that we were gonna drink <sighs> it up again. The rock bands themselves. The Boulay brothers even said it when they were doing like their private deliberation. I think they both kind of like could have brought it a little bit harder in yeah. general. Yeah, d d definitely the right team won for sure. Right. They did the one stunt with the beer, but. You know, in past seasons, like the Rock Challenge, like they go all out. It was almost like the first the group that won 
they were so comfortable in the fact that they just were gonna win it felt like they didn't need to like bring it all the way it felt like they were a band that had been together for a long time and this was like a tuesday night show yeah exactly our guest judges we had poppy and we had rachel true so everyone in our watch along was super excited for poppy (laughs) i was super excited for rachel true because she was on a show i used to love called half and half Mm. upn back in the day upn you remember upn Kinda. Monday night was a moment. It used to be the Parkers, one on one, girlfriends, and half and half. Oh, there we go. Anyway, they were both really great guest yeah. stretches as well. Uh, Rachel's really been good. there before for sure. Yeah, I loved Poppy on there. It and was... to my point, my morning she was like, I like the blood, but perhaps perhaps next time it could be vomit or something like that. Right, like, right, right. It was just funny because she was, I think that was like her way of being like, go harder. Even even though, yeah, yeah even though it was like the, the Poppy delivery, the critiques were on point. <laughs> they were, they yeah. Were. And then, of course, the other group, it was just chaos and struggle. And right. I hope, she said to Sigourney, I hope that when I go to hell, you're there to greet me at the gates or something yeah. like that. We've seen electrocution related exterminations before. Oh, yeah. This one was so confusing this and one... we weren't the only ones that were confused. Yeah. Like, like what, what happened? Did, what just happened? Were, like, what was the button pushing? Like, were they voting for each other? Like, they yeah. just, we never, we never really fully understood it. Uh, yeah. I guess like you can just pick somebody to get shocked each time. But it's like, we couldn't tell who was being shocked and who wasn't. I know. It was it, a little bit odd. The runway looks were rocker. First, let's talk about some of the good ones. Uh, La Zavaleta, Saint, yeah. Hoso, and Bitter Betty, I think, all did very well. Oh, yeah, amazing. Betty has been the bringing it in terms of the performance delivery, every... yeah. Yeah, like, she stepped it up in terms of the performance really hard. Absolutely, yeah. So I thought all those were good, but I thought the best two of the week were definitely oh. Dolly and Sigourney. Those 100%. are my top two of the week, for 100%. sure. hundred percent. Dolly, of course, was just serving us, like that demon god of rock and roll and sex and Sigourney was just the most beautiful like kiss kiss Mary Marie Antoinette like that shouldn't even work together fire fan lady I've ever seen but it did it was amazing once again it is insane to me how these ghouls can go so hard for Sigourney when she brings it to literally she brings it to you every ball right and then of course we have to get to our least favorite we've got Jade and Mary Cherry yeah I just didn't think either one really hit the category same Enough. pink bubblegum rocker Ooh, look. It Jim just... and the holograms are rockers, but it just yeah. didn't fit with the Dragula no. theme. I felt the same way about Mary Cherry's Elton John. Now moving on to UK. This was an interesting episode with a lot to discuss here as well. This little acting challenge yeah. that everyone actually did do very, very well in. They did. They, they all struggled, did. but then they all delivered. I love that RuPaul called out the fact that like, hey, you know what? The material's subpar. Like the writing is not incredible on this. The fact that, was that they, great. they all like really owned it and delivered it. Like mm-hmm. there wasn't anyone that just didn't feel like they were giving it 100% right. in the final product. Right. So yeah, it was great. I love that he called it out out of all the weeks. I think this is a a great week to not send anyone home and mm-hmm. do the top two thing that was a fun little twist we knew they were gonna have to do something because there was so many more episodes left <laughs> yeah. we knew that there was like okay well they're not gonna go down to a top two for the last episode right we have with the chap thing mm-hmm. I, don't, I think it's so good and it's a yes for me <laughs> Simon Cowell. Up next is Kitty Scott Claus doing Titan Rose from Titanic. <laughs> this was so funny. This was cute. She modeled the hell out of it. Shh. She brought out the the necklace and all of that too. Yeah. She looked incredible. It's mm-hmm. totally a mingle, yes. The one thing I didn't like that she did, which just was unnecessary, was the skirt reveal. She should have saved that for the lip sync, but she didn't know she was gonna lip sync. Yeah. It looks so much nicer with the skirt. I know. I don't understand the skirt reveal at all. It was ridiculous and completely unnecessary, but because it's Kitty, I'm like, it's yeah. funny. It's like when somebody does the like does a wig reveal, but it's the exact same wig underneath. It was kind of that to me. <laughs> Up next, Crystal Versace as uh, Cruella Deville. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. Yeah. I'm obsessed. It's like, so good. Look at her. Look at this picture. It's so good. She looks like a painting. Emma Stone could never. Glenn Close could never. Could, nobody could ever. Like perfection. Like just never. Just always look like this. And finally, Vanity Milan referencing Halle Berry and Babs. But mm-hmm. the problem is, we we just saw the the wig last week it's been like three weeks in a row of orange so i'm gonna give it a mango mess and say it's my least favorite just for those reasons yeah we just saw it even though it's different Mm -hmm. it's we just saw it that's how i feel too um i love unity but yeah this look for me is a mess it's just a little bit too like repeat i'm all for people having a signature color like we saw raja o'hara always wearing purple lemon always wore yellow i get that 
but this exact same kind of like silhouette and just kind of like and it's the same it's a similar shade of orange each time too yeah. like Raja O'Hara used every single shade of uh, purple true she was my favorite in the acting challenge yeah little baby yolo she killed it <laughs> Totally killed it. Now moving on to Canada. They did a girl group country challenge. That was just, it's kind of like almost forgettable. Yeah. This is the unfortunate thing is when we do our live reactions, we watch UK and then we watch Canada. Mm -hmm. And when we get on our after show, for some reason, even though we just watched Canada, sometimes we can't remember what just like, happened. What we can remember UK, uh -huh. even if UK is bad. Like even if UK is a total train wreck, you remember it. Yeah. For some reason, I think that's what's happening is each week it's good. Mm -hmm. But it's not like spectacular. Literally every you know? single time we sit down to watch Canada, I'm like, wait, who's on this show? Like, yeah. I like, I don't know. I think the best episode has definitely been the um, the musical. That was really good. And yeah. the clowns and all that. My like heart goes out to Eve. I feel like she just wasn't connecting with any of the girls. So it was hard for her to like, maybe really like connect into the challenges or the runways or whatever was going on. It seemed like the girls from that first episode when she cried from being safe, it seemed like the girls thought of her a certain type of way from that moment forward. Yeah, exactly. Like she never recovered really from it. Um, and I think a lot of the audience else. thinks the same. Yeah. But I, I didn't see that. Let's get into the looks and up versus Adriana. Yeah. I love the look. Love the look. What was the theme for this? Oh, Chromatica. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. Chromatica. I think everything really works and it's on theme. Mm -hmm. If you remember the one weird thing, and I don't know if it's from that mask that she was putting over her face or what. <gasps> oh yeah. Like, she... was she actually placing it on? Cause she had these crazy lines she around her mouth. She did, it had to have been from like the mask. We've talked about the fact that her makeup is just very inconsistent. It's inconsistent. Sometimes she is just stunningly beautiful. And sometimes you're like, what? The girl group challenge, mm -hmm. she looked like Jinx Monsoon again. Yeah. In season five. I know, it doesn't so make her, any her sense. So her paint is all over the place. But when she does it right, she does it right. And this look is Right. Yeah, the look is right. Makeup is questionable. Still gonna mangle yeses. Speaking of mangle yeses, for the final time, it's Eve 6000. Yes. Uh, Stunning. This is one of my favorite looks of the night. Yeah. I think it's amazing. I, this she is. She gave you that extra moment with the little face shield thing. thing. Yeah, you can even see it here, but it was so Ugh, stunning. Sickening. The bodysuit is incredible. Mm -hmm. Perfectly stoned. So flattering. Completely fits with Chromatica. Yeah. It's tied for my favorite. We'll get there because mm -hmm. there's one that's very similar. Yeah. But they're both like, how can you even pick between them? Every week she actually really turned it with the runway. Except for the one yeah. week she had to make one, which still was fine. Yeah. It was okay. Her runways were incredible. They yeah. truly were. Eve always served it. We've had two Perfect. like amazing representations in terms of like bigger girls with the shape and the looks. Oh, Her yeah. and Lawrence Chaney. She's at that level in terms of the looks. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is my other favorite of the week. They're from the same collection. The bodysuit is looks almost identical. Yeah. But this true. one has the armor pieces and it's in purple. Yeah. I love this. Gia's best look by far. I love this too. Yeah, this is also stunning. It's gorgeous. She looks great. I would have loved a little bit of sparkle on there, but I do like the touch of the armor. True. Yeah, the armor is fierce. I love that armor. And the purple hair, the weeks that we really love her look is when she wears darker hair. The oh. darker hair really makes her pop. Yes. Up next is Isis Couture. Not to shade anyone, but this one looks nicer and more expensive than Kata's for sure. I think so too. I think the gold is a fun touch. It is very Chromatica. Um, I like it. I'm going to make a yes it. Even though like the, like there's so much happening, but yeah. it really works. The gold body suit or dress or whatever it is, mm -hmm. it doesn't even need the ruffles. Right. But the ruffles actually still work too. It's just something extra to look at, but it could have almost been too much and it, it works. Yeah. She was able to like model it well. And, and you're right. She it. is totally in theme as well. Yeah. So far, all the ones we've looked at have been. Mm -hmm. but I, So we have to be getting Maybe. to some of the ones that weren't. Speaking of that, yeah. up next is Kendall Jenner. She's doing Cardi B. Uh, we didn't see no Chromatica up in there, mm. which, you know, they hated the fact that she covered up her butt. I don't care about that. Just, it didn't feel like Chromatica. No, and no. It's part of it's the biggest thing is her styling, that earring and the, the hair. The hair is flat. The stars it's... on the breasts are also not great. Yeah, no, I don't know. I feel like it just, like Chromatica is like that iridescent metallic. And sleek. Sleek, yeah. like Very like know. sleek and fu like, there's... futuristic. Yeah, I'm going to give it a mango mess. I'm messing it as well. Her face looked gorgeous though. Oh well, yeah. Up next is Kimura Amor. Ooh, now I'm this is how you do, this is how you keep you, uh -huh. but still do Chromatica. The biggest thing with this is all the styling choices, the hair, the makeup, mm -hmm. the, I don't even know if that's an earring or headpiece or whatever. Everything that Kimora did really worked for the theme. Absolutely. If Kimora went to Chromatica, she would still be doing her pageant gown, yet <laughs> it would be elevated like this, like go, goes to this level. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She was able to be true to her own personal style, but fit the category. She looks amazing. 
really like the touch of the makeup. That's what took it over mm -hmm. the top for me. Up next is Pythia. Yeah, this I was not a big fan of this look. It's too romantic almost for... Chromatica. And, yeah, and, and too um, frilly, you know. Exactly, yeah. Like, once again, just because it's monochromatic doesn't mean it's Chromatica for me. The hair doesn't give me Chromatica at all. No, no. I don't know. It's just not very flattering. This is kind of a, this is a rare miss for Pythia, for sure. I know, yeah. Normally, like, her outfits are just right on point. I'm going to mess it. I agree. Speaking of mangled messes, <laughs> this is the worst of the week. Yeah. It's Cynthia Kiss. Yeah. Girl. It's not, it's not it. Cynthia me. should know, like, she, like, they praised her in the chat but she did so bad at the runway mm -hmm. that they were like we got to put her in the bottom the suede pink item over the top of the bodysuit and the shoes like I think that that's a separate piece I don't think that bodysuit's attached and that could have worked with something different underneath it yeah totally but, but that bodysuit bike those, shorts oh, and the headband and the purple lip and the flat blonde her sisters don't love her no. I'm, I'm confident that her sisters do not love her and want her to fail that yeah. underneath bodysuit is so ugly. And on top of all of that, it doesn't even fit great. Speaking of Jinx on season five. Girl. If Jinx on season five was doing a Chromatica look, this is what it would be. I still don't think she'd wear a bike short. She'd probably wear something that wouldn't fit, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, you know what? A few a few weeks back, we were talking about River with the Jerry Spice in the bike short. Oh, that yeah. Makes, that makes River's bike short look like Couture <laughs> Daisy Dukes. I know, you know. I know. This is just so bad. It's bad. Yeah, it's the least favorite. Yeah, it's this nice. is. Mm -mm. She needs an intervention in terms of style. She does. Because she does well on the challenges. She's so talented. She's like. I seriously think one of the best singers that's ever been on Drag mm -hmm. Race, like, it period. Just tastes, she has no taste level when it comes to no. fashion, I don't think. She needs a designer. <sighs> Bless her heart. Yeah. yeah. Let us know what you think about all the new episodes this past week. And if you're excited for anything next week. Also, the uh, Queens of the Universe looks. If yes. you're excited for that. Mm -hmm. We're going to head on out of here. And we are so glad you got to see us. Bye. Bye.